Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today, thanks to John Randall in Tampa, Florida, we're going to be going over Nocturnus AD Paradox. Fuck. Yes. The sequel to The Key. Oh! Science fiction death metal gold from one of Morbid Angel's original members. In my opinion, this is what Morbid Angel should have sounded like after Alters of Madness. I mean, you don't need to have the keyboards, which is something that always, to me, made Nocturnus stand out from early Morbid Angel. Because I remember when I first heard about Nocturnus, they were kind of, you know, pitched to me as Morbid Angel with keyboards. So I instantly was like, that sounds awesome. And I got a cassette copy of The Key and was just completely blown away by Mike Browning and company. And then what happened throughout the years is just a fucking bummer. Like, the fact that Mike got kicked out of his own band, that sucks. And losing your band's name, which is why this is called Nocturnus AD, he was playing as just After Death, which, that's a bummer. So, the fact that Mike Browning was able to secure the Nocturnus name in some way and make a record that kind of was in his brain for around 25 plus years and having it come out in 2019 and be this fucking good, just wow and thank you to Profound Lore for having some balls and putting out something like this. Because when I think of Profound Lore, don't get me wrong, you have, like, Artificial Brain and stuff, and, like, Cthulhuist. But, like, normally, well, at least back in the day, when I heard Profound Lore, I thought of, like, obscure black metal, some doom, and, like, just some outside-of-the-box thinking styles of bands. So... For them to be on the death metal train with fucking Nocturnus AD, Paradox, Pissgrave, yeah. Profound Lore is one of those labels that they're just fucking full of surprises. Like, you have a band like Soft Kill, and it's just like the complete opposite of something like, you know, Old Tower. Or even fucking Nocturnus. And I think that's awesome. It's great to have fucking diversity in your label's lineup. Unless it's a label that, you know, is revolved around one thing. Like Maggot Stomp with Death Metal. It works. But Profound Lore is one of those labels that, you know, they really put out a lot of thought-provoking music. And it fucking kicks ass. Like, this double LP, I I legit can't believe that this is in my fucking hands right now. In a million years, I never thought there would be another Nocturnus record that has Mike Browning on it. I just assumed that was it. I mean, now we have Morbid Angel with Steve Tucker, whatever. But now it's like, yo... Is Nocturnus going to tour? Because to me, I would much rather hear songs from The Key, even Thresholds, than any of that fucking new Morbid Angel crap. That Morbid Angel show, I'm sorry, the last time I saw them play was one of the most boring performances I've ever seen. By one of my favorite death metal bands, but then... The more I go back and think about it, I really, really love Morbid Angel, Abomination of Desolation, which is one of the main 
reasons I love Mike Browning and Nocturnus in general because Mike Browning, from what I was told, wrote some of those early Morbid Angel songs. I know Trey claims he wrote them all, but Mike has said he wrote some. Who the fuck really knows? But all I know is you have a record like Abominations of Desolation. And getting to hear these classic Morbid Angel tracks with Mike Browning on vocals and drums, it's amazing because when you listen to Paradox, if you've heard the key, you know what to expect. But if you haven't, it sounds like early Morbid Angel with fucking keyboards and a lot more technicality and heaviness. It's fucking awesome. But I'm not doing a full review yet. I just want to go over this record, show you the cosmetics, because they are fucking gorgeous. Just a killer, killer job. I mean, they didn't get Seagrave to come back, but this is awesome. There's all these, like, Lovecraftian monsters and stuff, like... The big Cthulhu statue and whatnot, pyramids. Fuck yeah. I love good science fiction, and especially when it's mixed in with some of the coolest fucking sounding death metal out right now. Fuck yeah. Like, if you're a fan of Nucleus, Time Ghoul, fucking A. You can't go wrong with Nocturnus. Like, even if you're a fan of like Blood Incantation as well, so many bands have their whole careers to thank Nocturnus for. But here's some more cosmetic stuff I wanted to go over with you. Probably the only band with the AD tag that I feel has actually hit a fucking home run. Like, Entombed AD? The... F what? I, I... Whatever. But we have Mike Browning on drums and vocals. Damien Heftel on guitar. Belial Koblock on guitar and backing vocals. Daniel Tucker on bass. And Josh, Hol Josh Holdren on keyboards. Fuck yeah. I'm pretty sure that's like the demo lineup or something like that. I think Mike was trying to like get the demo lineup to record this, but I, I don't know off the top of my head. I forget, but I know there was an interview in Decibel about it, but um, real quick, the cover art is so fucking good. Um, Timball just absolutely... I mean, Timball always kills it when it comes to artwork, but, like, I would kill to get a poster or a flag of this. Like, it's absolutely some of the fucking best artwork of 2019. I, I love every single bit of this. And to go along with the rest of my records that have robots on them, I try my hardest whenever I you know, find a record I like with a robot on it to get it on clear vinyl. But it was a choice between clear and black, and I was like, hey, it goes with my robot theme. So I grabbed it on clear vinyl. It's a double LP. Fucking so sick. I'll read through some of the song titles and whatnot. And it's real cool, too, because, like, each side of it, like goes through these, like, moon cycles and whatnot on the bottom. It's fucking badass. Like, it's very, very well put together. And, like, here's, um, on the sea side of things, it's like, you have a full moon. Uh, I forget <laughs> what that kind of moon's called. And then, like, another type of moon. And then over here, you have everything kind of leading up to a new moon. And whatnot, which is fucking dope. I think that's cool as shit, like. But Nocturnus AD Paradox is sci-fi 
death metal gold. If you're a fan of weird fiction, all sorts of stuff like that, the lyrics alone open up with, Now Satan takes his place in the throat of a fallen god. Ripping their wings off, smashing their bones, the blood of God drifts below and fills the lake of fire. Now, if you know the key, you know the opening track is Lake of Fire. And the key is about taking a time machine back to the year 0 AD and killing Christ in the manger. It's awesome. And Paradox, like I said, I did not really get to dive into more of the lyrical content and whatnot, but there's, you know, portals being created, all sorts of crazy consciousness being awakened, and just awesome fucking stuff, like, over two million years ago, the emergence of primitive man, the first human development of the old Stone Age, it's just fucking sick. Everything about this release, from the artwork, to the riffs, to Mike's vocals, is fucking amazing. And the fact that this is even existing in 2019 and holds this much fucking weight, fuck yeah. Like, this is right up there with imprecation when it comes to some of the best death metal in 2019. And I haven't even completely dove into this yet but like seizing the throne and the bandar sign that start off the a side holy shit it just gets you ready for how gnarly the rest of this record is like palolithic precision of the equinoxes the antechamber is such a fucking sick song the return of the lost key apothesis I think that's how you say that. Aeon of the Ancient Ones and Number Nine. Just fucking killer, cosmic, sci-fi driven death metal from Florida. You can't go wrong here. This right here is a bona fide death metal classic in the near future. As, like I said, I've only listened to this about four times already. <laughs> it's a double LP, too, so... Yeah, this is fucking amazing. And so far, first impressions are... Fuck. Yes. Like I said, if you like Early Morbid Angel, if you like the first Nocturnus record, The Key... You can't go wrong with Nocturnus AD Paradox on Profound Lore Records. Copies are still available. I know you might want the crazy, gnarly fucking splatter versions, but they have black and clear available. You know, they all sound the same. They have a cassette version, which I'm sure sounds fucking dope. Uh, and yeah... That's fucking Nocturnus AD Paradox. And I'll do an official review in the near future. I just really wanted to go over the cosmetics and just discuss some first impressions of this sci-fi fucking beast right here. Nocturnus AD Paradox. Fuck yeah. Thank you, John Randall, for sending this my way. Fucking... Oh, heavy hails, and everybody for watching, you fucking rule. Hails. <laughs>